What up fam, hoping everyone is having a good one. Let's take a look at the Budget Ballers Bronze Edition. We're going to start off with the catchers, Robinson Chirinos, he's my go-to guy. Second option would be Evan Gaddis. Let's go ahead into first base now. First base, you do have a lot of viable options. I personally prefer two switch hitters here in Justin Smoke and Kendris Morales. Both of them have enough pop to actually keep you in the game and they're switch hitters so they generally don't have a weak side and can face any pitcher that the opponent brings up then for second base this is not as strong as you'd want it to be but hey we can still make something work the first guy that i'd take a good look at is the switch hitter of course jose reyes even though his power is not really well he never had really too much power but in general his fielding is not really up there but him being a switch hitter makes him a viable option to me. And then Yomer Sanchez, another good option. Usually last year, I used him in Battle Royale, and he was actually lights out. So I recommend those two guys. For second base, we're going to continue looking and go to third basements now. Jake Lamb, first option available, and I would recommend this guy to anybody. He is a monster in every single MLB The Show I think I've played and he just crushes pitches without a problem. Then, second option I'd have is Miguel Sano. Great power hitter, and definitely budget baller-wise, one of the best options there. For shortstop, I wouldn't say this is exactly weak, but it's not as strong as other positions. You go ahead and look at Troy Tulowitzki. I'd say you stick him into the shortstop, and you're pretty much good. But if you're looking for somebody else besides Troy Tulowitzki, a good option to actually replace him would be Tim Anderson. I don't see any more options a lot better than Troy. So Tim Anderson is what I would say would be usable in terms of replacing Troy Tulowitzki if you think he's a little bit more on the expensive side. Then we're going to hop over to left field. Basically, Domingo Santana, great power hitter could stick him into left field and be pretty much good for a while and then if you want to platoon him up you do have Chinsu Chu available so Chinsu Chu not a bad option either we're going to go ahead and look at center fielders real quick center fielders you do have a little bit more versatility here you have Byron Buxton I definitely go after him if you're looking for defense and speed on the base paths and then Ian Happ, he is the power hitting center fielder that everybody used last year. Once again, another good budget bowler bronze character or bronze player to use. I don't know why I said character right there. And then for right field, you do have two great options in Eric Thames and Kobe Rasmus. Two great options. I'm telling you here right now. And then we're going to look at the pitchers. So we're going to start with closers here. You don't have too many options for closers, but Jordan Hicks, I would say that's your go-to guy. And then after Jordan Hicks, Hunter Strickland, pretty good card as well. I'm not sure if this Jim Johnson is as good as his flash card or his flashback, excuse me. But for right now, I'd say Hunter Strickland, Jordan Hicks, and Jim Johnson are pretty good closers to use for your budget bowler accounts. And then for relief pitchers, you can never, ever go wrong with Tommy. You can't go wrong with Joe Kelly, especially with the pitch speeds increased. You go ahead and keep on looking. And you can't go wrong. Where is the guy I'm looking at? With Kyle. You can never go wrong with Kyle. He's actually been pretty good almost every single year. I'm looking for some lefties for you guys to actually have as well. Joe King Soria, not bad either. We're going to continue looking. Didn't mean to skip that page. Matt Bush with the increased pitch speeds are pretty good. Jerry Blevins, that's the first lefty. Johnny Venters, I've heard his windup is a little bit on the funky side, so that's another good option. I'm trying to find Deekman. I'm not sure what overall he is, but he is always a great left-handed budget bowler pitcher to use. So just looking for him real quick. I'm not sure what overall, as I said previously, but great option to have. He might be on the bronze side. Actually, let's look him up by name, see if we can find him. Deekman and Pazos. That's another good guy. So 71 overall. That's a good guy to actually have. And then I believe it's Pazos. The other lefty with the increased pitch speeds. The guy's a monster. So 
those are two viable lefty options and then last but not least let's go ahead and look at the starting pitchers so starting pitchers let me do the overalls again really quickly since me looking for Pazos and Diekman took it off so for starting pitchers, I'd say it's the same thing as the silver. Find pitchers that you like in terms of their arsenal of pitch types. And then look for guys that are flamethrowers. So here, Alex Reyes is probably a pretty good option. He's a flamethrower. Steven Matz for a left-handed pitcher is not too bad either. We're going to continue looking over here. Hopefully find somebody I remember using. I've used... Walker a couple of times, but I wouldn't really suggest him. Jeremy Hellickson wouldn't really suggest either, but I'm pretty sure I've used both of those guys before. Let's continue on looking, seeing if I could find anybody else that I would say 100% to go ahead and use. Marcus Stroman, not a bad guy. Well, actually, with those pitch types, I'd say he's pretty bad. This Clayton Kershaw, I'd say give him a try. 100% that Clayton Kershaw. Is not a bad picture to use at all so those three guys that I've said 100% to I'd go ahead and give them tries you can never go wrong with Felix Hernandez either and then of course the greatest of all time Bartolo Colon that was a joke but yeah for starting pitchers I would honestly just look for a pitcher that fits the pitch types throw and those would be probably the best since all of them are relatively the same price anyways I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And I'll catch you all in the next one.